Here we do have pocket trees first hand after the bubble bursted. So yeah, I'm just gonna happily uh, shove it in here. Well, we got action and we have a flip and uh oh. Play starts to slow down significant. 18 players away from the money now. King six, think this is an open on the bottom. Bad bet, turning it open ended. My king. And another bet takes it down. Three. Keep it the bottom again. I mean, having king queen here, of course, like this, isn't open for me. I think I missed the monarch there. Oh, there's one there. Uh. It's actually interesting to follow. Like you see, if like somebody would bust here on this table, and I see like another all in another table. Uh, although it's one of the shorter, and there's nobody busting so far. On any of the other tables, uh, I think I'm afraid to take the passive line here. Uh, like, okay, I'm happy to like get only like one or two streets of value here with my hand. Not trying to go for three. Like, be putting in a very tough spot here on the bubble. Like you can still do it if he pot spots. Then I'm all in by the river. This is what I mean. Having no club is definitely not something in my advantage here. Whatever I think I do, definitely need to go and see the river. River might actually save me. Like if he jams, I have to fold. How unfortunate it is. I do think he will check a decent amount, I was about to say. I likely lost, and of course, having a very easy check behind it. Like, no reason for me here to bet, like, a turn behind it to a bluff or anything. I just have enough showdown value, I think. I mean, often we'll lose this hand, but sometimes not. Well, okay, flop the flush. I guess the river really saved myself here. It really saved me because I'm not sure if I would have folded on, on a lot of other cards. I mean, I didn't have a club myself in my hand, which of course is a real disadvantage there. Uh, but I know that, yeah, on the bubble, he can, of course, like put slightly more pressure on me, and yeah, I might just have to, yeah, have to, yeah, mm, have called it off and bubble the tournament, unfortunately. It's yeah, D Peters who was the shortest deck. Well, it was something by a very small margin. And here we do have pocket trees first hand after the bubble bursted. So yeah, I'm just uh, gonna happily uh, shove it in here. Like I said, Monkey Budge, he he should have like a quite uh, quite a tight range there, of course. Um, and I guess like hands like yeah, Ace King and and tens plus definitely a, yeah, definitely valid hands to shove there. Queens of course as well. Oh, we got action and we have a flip and 
Uh oh. Whew. He holds. And unfortunately, Stephen busts. Uh, here, Dominic comes in for the 3x open. We have ace 5 on the big lines. Let's focus a little bit on this hand. Uh, fairly easy defense here. Flopping middle pair, top kicker, backdoor not flush draw, turning trips, and I think with a whole range we can like pride pretty big here. He shouldn't have too many fives in his range. Like we have way more fives in our range and I think even with deeper stacks, you can start over betting, but here being yeah, like this bet size leaves me like roughly uh, like less than a pot behind. I think that's fine. Size that I took. And obviously, gonna win this hand unless I'm getting slow rolled, which I don't think will be the case. He's not gonna waste his timing for nothing here. No matter what, we're up to a nice stack already here now. Like over a million for the first time in the, this, the history of this tournament from our side. And maybe more, maybe a lot more. Maybe 1.7 million if he finds the call. But he doesn't. So yeah, 1.2 million. I'll take it. It's usually like a good deal. Like King Jack suited. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, coming in for a limp here uh, with my hands. That's what I'm gonna do. So I have to take into account that there's a money jump, as I said before. So especially if I'm uh, fee pipping, I will uh, I will take my time to make decisions. Because like especially like with this hand, there's a chance I might go broke by the river. Also, of course, a chance at a double up. But if I'm all in by the river, that means that there's a chance I will get eliminated. And as you can see, the difference between 16th place and 15th place is $1,000. So by just taking a little bit more time, I could win a potential $1,000. Because if somebody else would bust on the table here, let's say Broker Pro busts uh, with a short stack, then, well, and if I then bust, even only like half a second later, I'll still uh, get the $1,000 pay jump. And snap call from uh, big blind of course six is something favorable to his rage I would I wouldn't uh, be surprised if I would see a decent amount of leading here uh, we still have a hand that's that's yeah high up in our range as well like it's still a top pair we can still defend this, uh, this hand quite easy but this is like the time where I definitely want to want to maximize the time uh, just gonna call as I said like really hate to see the diamond peeling off there and uh, I guess first the small bet. Uh, like also facing the small bet on the turn. I think we just will be, uh, will be calling and yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the opponent had a, had a six in his hand. Uh, we do have King Jack still with 16 players left. Um, Gonna uh, race again, self committed. Uh, could actually still again limp as well. I think both options are, are fine here. Ooh. Trips. Last time we limped King Jack, suited. It didn't turn out like that well. Let's see if this time we're performing slightly better.
first is the same villain. Time here on the turn. And well, I guess it's safe to say that we will be winning this hand. Might actually just split the pot as well. Then gonna Darwin a little bit lose of his time bank. I mean, of course I'm kinda of slow rolling the other guy. Woo, what a river! Ho, ho, ho. Woo. And Darwin lost a bit of his time bank, but he doubled though. All the showdown, yes, that is. Oh, we will have to be at the final. No, oh, Darwin spikes a king on the river. And I guess here with pocket tens, Ooh. might just go for the limp jam here. I've been limping so much. And I would see a decent amount of isolating. In this particular spot, I don't know. I've actually was debating that, of course, also between raising and jamming. Things maybe my pair is just not too high enough here to to start limping, and I rather want to go with something like yeah, the jack queen plus in order if I want to trap. Uh, here, if big blind falls, we definitely have a call. If big blind jams, we have a fold. If big blind calls, we're Crawling as well. I'm not really thrilled about it, but I mean, I can still be up against the flush draw when and a pair of uh, fives or anything. We're beating a bunch lesser hands. Hit queen four, it's a bit unfortunate. Ooh, which she looks like she will be doubling, which oh, hitting a runner flush there. Okay, so we are at a nine hand. That's final table. Wee. Uh, let me look at the stack sizes. Ah, oh, I do have all the big stacks on my right this time. This is really annoying. I mean, we were lucky up until the final table to have the big stacks on our left-hand side. And now uh, things have turned, like we made a redraw, unfortunately. Yep. The stacks are there. We are the shortest stack, like Pro Beers, and so they will open a ton of hands. Like, the thing I'm really hoping for is, like, one of these two guys is going to double through one of these guys. That's, like, the thing I can hope for. So the chips are switching a little bit more on that side. Or of course I can double a couple of times myself. A6 off. Uh, let's go call. Flopping an ace. And we'll check call flop. It should be pretty much facing his yeah, bet any time every time here. Should be going for a small bet here, pretty much his whole range. So I'm gonna call and check again on the turn and see what he's gonna do. Like, I would sometimes even like see him shoving the turn here and decides to go small. 
I guess I'm calling again. I mean, definitely not folding. I don't see a lot of merit in raising. I mean, it's. I mean, there's a ton of draws there, but um, I think versus the small side, I can just have a check call and yeah, pretty much blank on the river and check in. Yeah, win a lot of the time if he checks behind and if he calls. Sorry, and if he bets, we just uh, gonna call and yeah. Hope for the best. Mm. Ace King suited. I'm very thrilled about this hand. And so, versus an open from any of these positions, this would just be a, a re jam. Like, I really don't want to like three bet and then getting four bet, having to call like four bet because it's. Yeah, it's like, I think ICM wise, just like. Way better here for me to shove. I think that's the most optimal play. I mean, like Ace, like definitely with Ace King off, like Ace King suit, it might just be uh, a hand that wants to three bets. Like for, yeah, like for value, of course, but like three bets small and then call four bet. Ooh, be awesome. He's our first elimination here at the final table. And let's hope we're not the second one here with our pocket kings. I mean, 3-bet looks like so strong here. Like a rather flat then. Uh, he's gonna go for a 3-bet. Yeah. Ooh, Darwin. Darwin, wow, he loses squats. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's an out he has on the river, but it's the most annoying out to, to be hitting against. Wow. Quads. King Archer is all in. And he's flipping. And we're running the ladder, but King Arthur is bust as well. That's what is love now as a chip. So yeah, I would mind if he like wins some pots now. I just can keep folding here on it again. So climbing up the ladder again. Already guaranteed $16,800. Whoa, this is Ace King, right? Ace King, yeah, this is Ace King. Versus Aces. And we lost another one. What is love? That's not all of love from start to getting there. What is love? He has to settle there for sixth place. Wow. And Susinha is back at the top again. Might just be a good call from, uh, from Susinha. I mean, I'm not opposed to the cold four bet there, but no. I mean, oh yeah, he did, oh, sorry. Yeah, he was way more committed than I thought he was. Oh yeah, ready put 19 bigs in and the guy shot for 37 bigs, yeah. No, I guess then it's fine. And pocket nine's here, and I guess this is gonna four bet shove this hand, five bet shove this hand. And that's but that's be just, yeah, just turn it to Chipley, that's what I'm saying, like, he might just not have had three bet a lot, but now all of a sudden he does three bet. But he does have a lot of chips, so uh, but it's just good hand, a good spot for me to four bet champ. Ooh, oh, hits please! Ah, no, that was unfortunate. Uh, running into pocket nines there. Yeah, don't think we could do much uh, apart from shoving there. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Uh, it was a fun ride. So 22, of course, very happy with this result. 22,000 cash is, uh, yeah, is not uh, not too bad. Uh, well, thanks everybody for following. Um, and yeah, hope I'll see you guys back in the future. I myself, I don't think I will be streaming anymore at this W Coop since I will be uh, going to, yeah, playing a little bit on my laptop in the next couple of days, so I don't have my laptop set up for stream. Uh, furthermore, uh, then on Sunday I will be back home, and then, like, such a huge Sunday that I, like, want to focus on playing myself and not really on streaming. 
Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned uh, to see if uh, more uh, streams are coming in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. It was a it was a fun stream. I mean, topped it off with a with a nice cash of uh, yeah, I think my biggest cash so far on on stream. So definitely no uh, no complaints from uh, from my side. So uh, yeah, see you guys uh, soon. Cheers.